Hi, everyone, and welcome to the first week of Critical Reasoning, Reading, and Writing, um, which is English 1C at Shasta Community College. So we're getting a little bit of a late start here in this class, and I'm looking forward to spending some time with you this semester and, um, and going over our materials. So I just wanted to say hello and introduce myself and um, help us to get a little familiar with the course. So what I thought I would do is in a minute here, I'm going to share screen and then um, we can kind of look at the canvas shell together and how we're going to navigate it. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to share screen now. Um, so when you get to the canvas course, it should look like this for you. And there's some information along the sides, a home button, announcements, assignments, discussions, grades, the people in the class, um, the syllabus, uh, quizzes, modules. And then these are some other things that are helpful, skills for online success, net tutor, the library, tutoring and learning centers, um, evaluations, and then of course, Office 365, which you may want to use. It will be very helpful for you when you are working on papers within the class. Um, on this homepage, you're gonna see a link that says, welcome, please start here. And if you do that, um, you will be able to uh, start to look at the modules. Now, there is a little trick with these modules. In order for you to get to the next item, you have to complete all items. So um, you really have to kind of go in order. So if you would click on English 1C, a dystopian perspective, it's going to bring you um, to some information about the class. And then there's these buttons down below that you can press to click next. Um, and there'll be information that you can look at, materials that you'll need, um, the actual syllabus for the course, um, and then a place for discussions so you can, um, you can do some discussion work. And then we move to week one. Um, so that beginning part is just introducing you to the course. And then we start with the material um, from our course. And week one is American Psychosis by uh, Chris Hedges. And when you click on this link, it's going to bring you to the document where you can actually read the article here directly in, um, in our Canvas shell. And it talks with you. And so I'm not gonna go over all this. I just wanted you to get to navigating this. So, and then you're gonna have that reading. It's gonna tell you about the reading. And then you're going to have a discussion. And then, um, it will allow, then you're gonna have a micro theme and it will show you how you can put the assignment in. So I really encourage you to work with that, work in that way in the website, um, starting on the welcome and then clicking through each one. And then, um, be, and then that will help you to be able to navigate all these materials. If you come over here to the discussions and you just try to complete them, um, you're gonna have, you, this you'll be able to because you can see that I actually had clicked through that with you. But if you go back to the, this discussion tab, there's a whole bunch more discussions, but you can't see them because you have to click through them. You've got to actually go through each page and read it before you can actually get to the material. And it's the same with the assignments is you can see the assignments, but you can't complete them unless you go through and do them. So it's really important to be able to do that. You can also go to the modules and you can kind of see how it will work. So here's the welcome week one, week two, and you can see that we didn't get any farther, right? And that's why these are gray and they're not black because you haven't read, you haven't finished everything prior. So you can't get to the next week, week three, week four, week five, week six, week seven, blah, blah, blah. So you can kind of see what's going on, but you can't get to them. See how I'm clicking and nothing happens? You can't really get to them unless you've gone through the material. And then announcements is important because you will be able to see, um, you know, the things that I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm gonna leave student, I'm gonna stop sharing for a second and so I can talk with you for a few more minutes. Um, so anyway, it would be really important to start to get familiar with how to navigate the course and how to get through Canvas. We're only working with Canvas and I will of course be doing videos for you and checking in with you. 
Um, this week, again, we're going to be working with American Psychosis by Chris Hedges. It's an article, it's an opinion piece. Um, you will be doing um, a um, discussion and a mini paper on it. And the directions, of course, are going to be in Canvas. Um, I would encourage you, a lot of times people read this article and they get fired up pretty quickly. Um, it's okay, it's an opinion piece, you don't have to agree with it. We're going to be looking at um, another piece next week that deals with um, kind of like American uh, psychology and dystopia. And um, we'll be looking at that and it comes from a totally different perspective. So it's not necessarily about if it's right or wrong, it's really about your analysis of it, right? And that's what I'm really looking for um, within your micro theme paper. And then of course, the discussion is the beginning steps for you working on that micro theme paper. Um, all of that is going to be due this week. So Friday, your discussion is due, your mini papers due on Sunday, and then we're gonna move on to the next article by Melissa Ames next week. So um, again, Chris Hedges, uh, I think you'll enjoy reading it. It's not very long which is kind of helpful the first week because we have a shorter week, um, but kind of get through it. You can read about him if you want. You can look him up online and uh, read a little bit about Chris Hedges. That might help you to kind of get an understanding of where he's coming from. And then I'll be back and doing a video next week talking about Melissa Ames and, um, and where we're gonna go with that. So discussions, um, of course, are posted on um, Canvas and there are a minimum of 150 words. Uh, 150 words is kind of like a C. Um, if you really want to do better, you really should work in a little more depth, right? They should be robust and um, the articles are pretty meaty, so you shouldn't have any trouble um, being able to do that. And um, they, of course, they're posted again, like I said, here on Canvas. Everything will be posted on Canvas. When you get to the micro theme paper, um, I assume you're going to be using MLA because most English classes do, but I will take MLA or APA format. You should have a works cited page or a reference page, correct spelling, grammar. There should be a structure to it, a thesis, topic, sentences, things like that. It's not a very long paper, so don't freak out. Um, and uh, we're going to be looking at um, reading and writing um, and critical thinking from the dystopian perspective, right? So that's why I'm starting with this opinion article. Uh, when we move on to Melissa Ames next week, it will be a way more dry article, um, an academic article. And we can look at how um, different uh, people are addressing some of the same issues in very different ways. Um, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out to me. I know these asynchronous classes are kind of tough, right? Because we don't really meet. Um, but I am available via Canvas. I try to respond within 24 hours uh, to any emails that you send my way. And if you want to meet, we can meet via Zoom. I don't really set up specific office hours because many of you have multiple jobs that are working and everybody has different hours. So it doesn't really make sense for me to say I'll be here from two to four when none of you can be here at that time. So what I like to do is have you email me and say, hey, I'd like to meet with you. And then we can set up a time that works for both of us. And it can be outside of the norm. It doesn't have to be a Monday through Friday. If you're working and you need to meet on a weekend, I can, you know, make a 15 minute meeting and, and do that. So I just try to like be as flexible as I can because I know that everybody's coming from different places and they have different lives and, and the world is challenging right now. So um, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, take a look over the materials, start the, um, the work this week, and, and I'll be back next week with another video about our next material. Okay, you all, it's um, nice to meet you virtually, and hopefully I'll get to talk with you soon. Have a great day.